Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is our program, The Virtuous Woman, the program of Al Muminat, the Believing Women Organization. You've been listening to a series of episodes. Inshallah, what we are bringing here today is tagged the Muslim woman and her relatives. And I have with me in the studio today, uh, Elijah Nimotulai Abulatif Olaolua, who is going to help us to shed light on this topic. Don't forget, I'm your sister in Islam, Afso Muritado. We pray Allah guide our lecturer. Bismillah. <laughs> A Muslim woman and a relative. A Muslim woman we have had is a servant of Allah who is balanced in all our relationship. Our relative are those that we are connected with by the blood of by the tie of kinship. And for this reason we have to know that they have we have they have a right over us and the right as a muslim we have to give our relative when Allah subhanahu wa created everything he said allah uh, the tie of kinship stood up and asked allah to protect it and protect whoever protects it, mm. and to no, cut no. off whoever cut it off, it off. to show God. us how important it, it is. is. So as a Muslim, we should not take it with levity. Our relatives, they have a right that we must give them. We must be able to appreciate them, no matter what we have. They are very important to us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Islam has connected us together. together. I will see this from the seerah of Islam. The uncle of the Prophet Sallallahu yes, that Allah. raised him up was not a Muslim. But yet, Prophet Sallallahu was able to show us, was able to perfect that relationship. Shows that at the, end, at, the, at the point of that, he was carried away so that he was telling him to Pronounce the kalima until Allah cautioned him. Mm. So to show all the love he has. So unlike us today that will feel because they are now Muslim, we don't have role to play. No. You don't have Islam, to do it. No, them. Islam wants us to play our role. To give them that right they have with us. And this right, we must be conscious of it. Because there are so many hadiths that Professor Azam encourages us yes, that the best of sodako that we can do is the one we do to our families. So we should know that our family members are really, no man lives in isolation. Thank possible. God for this part of the world. African is, a, is, is, is connected, so to say. We are one way or the other, connected to our relatives. It is a large family. family. Extended family. Extended family, thank you, is recognized here. It is not the question of me and my wife and children. Yeah, no, you have extended relations. And Islam wants us to show love. In fact, we need to show love and care. And by doing so, we are doing the dawah of Islam. It's like those of them that are non Muslim. From this, our heart and attitude, they will accept Islam. MashaAllah. So we need to know that relatives, 
is it is a responsibility on us. On us, and we have to recognize them. And if you look at uh, verses of the Quran in Suratul Bani Israel, Quran 17, verse 26. Alas, we are not at Allah's head there. And render to the kindred their due rights as to those who want, who want and to the wayfarer, but squander your wealth, your wealth not in the manner of spend trips. That is to tell us that this relative, it is a very important thing that we should not joke with. God is a commandment of Allah. We need to recognize them. And in some other verses, Allah will tell us the wayfarer, the poor, the orphans. We have among them those that are poor. We have among them those that are orphans. We have to play our role as a Muslim. It's a very important aspect of our religion. In one of the Tkudus, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the word Ra, which is kinship, is taken from the name of Allah, from the quality of Allah, a Rahman. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, whoever protects kingship, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect him. He made it a duty bound on himself. Allah and whoever cut it up, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will doom such a person. Allah so as a Muslim, we need to be conscious of this aspect. Our relative remains our relative. No matter what they are. No matter who they are. We have to recognize them. We have to show love to them. We have to respect them. No matter how busy we are, we have to show concern. Especially at the time of need. It should not be that we don't have time. We don't even know what is happening to, to them. them. No. Because Islam is a religion, is a complete religion. The last verse of the Quran, Allah says he has completed the deen for is a way of life. We are balanced uh, society. So for that reason, we should not leave out anything that will cause problem. And not to forget that no one can live in isolation. Yes. This relative we are talking about, one way or the other, we still need them. Yes. So we need to make sure that we, at every point in time, be conscious of them, recognize them, love them, care for them, spend on them. and spend on them. Thank you. And Professor Islam even so told us that when you spend on them, you have two rewards. Hmm. The first one is that you have tied the, the, the rope of kinship. Hmm. Then the second one is that you have a reward for so, doing charity. Yes, for giving us so that hmm. It's not the question that I can just give charity to anybody around. No, if you give it to your relatives, relatives you have to reward rewards. for that. And around the light, this month of Ramadan as is a month of giving charity here and there. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a very good opportunity, opportunity for us as Muslims to remember them and do our responsibility. We pray to Almighty Allah to give us the uh, Baraka, this blessing. the blessing and the reward for doing this. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. That is another opportunity for us to accumulate rewards, doing good to our relatives. It's very essential. It's a very cheap way of doing good, of getting rewards. Just pick your phone, call them, how are you, how are the children? You've accumulated a lot of rewards like that. We pray Almighty Allah, make it easy for every one of us to do. Uh, here today, we shall be rounding in top here till we meet again. I remain your sister in Islam, Ajia Afso Muritado. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today you become man and wife, fulfilling the sunnah as way of life. Today you find serenity, may your life be filled with sincerity. There is no happier day in your life than the virtue of being man and wife. There's joy without any end, Allah's blessing on this day does descend.